Good morning, everyone, and welcome to today's Zoo to You. My name is Katie, and I'm an educator here at Stone Zoo. And today, we are joining our Slop family for breakfast. We're going to be feeding them some of their favorite treats today. Now, if you have any questions about our slots, please feel free to ask them in the comment section of the video, and I will do my best to answer them throughout our video today. So we're going to be feeding our slots some of their all-time favorites out of their daily diet that's prepared here at the zoo. So we have some apple slices, some sweet potato, some healthy and nutritious leaf, leafy greens, and we also have some cut up grapes, which are a very special treat for our sloths. So we're gonna be feeding our male and female sloths, Nero and Lunesta, and we will also see if their newest offspring would like to wake up and join us today as well. Their young baby was born on July 30th, and is still pretty small, kind of nestled up into mom, so we'll see if baby wants to join us as well. So let's get feeding them. We'll see if they're hungry for some treats today. So first I'm gonna start with Nero, who's right in the back here, and he is our male. Nero is almost 16 years old, and he came to Stone Zoo from the Tulsa Zoo in Oklahoma. And right up front, we have Lunesta, our female. She is 17 years old, and she came to Stone Zoo from the Biodome in Montreal. And Nero and Lunesta were paired together through a breeding program called a Species Survival Plan, or SSP for short. And the whole point of this SSP is to have lots of healthy and genetically diverse offspring in zoos. So Nero and Lunesta have been very successful through their SSP and their youngest baby who is currently nestled right down under Lunesta's chin is their fifth baby. So <laughs> their firstborn, uh, Mojo, oh my goodness, we've got a lady in the tramp moment going on, sharing some sweet potato, very cute. I might get another piece so no fights break out. <laughs> so Mojo, their firstborn, uh, went off to another zoo and then Maxine and Molasses live at Franklin Park Zoo. Next is Siesta who is a year and a half now. Uh, Siesta lives a few exhibits down here at Stone Zoo in our Windows to the Wild section of the zoo. And this baby makes baby number five. Oh, and we can see our little baby's face right over here, kind of nestled into mom's fur. So sloth babies are only around one pound when they're born. They're very, very small, and they're also really difficult to see. As soon as they are born, they're actually born with mom upside down, um, they crawl right up into the fur on mom's belly so they can stay nice and safe. And they basically use mom as a giant hammock. They nestle into her fur so they can nurse and stay safe. So a lot of visitors when they come to the zoo actually think that Nero is our baby because he's a little bit smaller than Lunesta because baby is very tough to see, kind of staying safe with mom while they're nice and young. As the babies get bigger, they do get easier to see when you are visiting the zoo. Um, just because their size is a little bit bigger, they might be moving around a little bit more. But since our little one is only around a month old, they're still gonna be spending a lot of time sleeping and nursing, nestled into mom so they can stay nice and safe. We'll see if we can give mom some more of her favorites. So Lunesta, like I mentioned earlier, is bigger than Nero. She also has a little bit louder of a personality. So Lunesta tends to be a little bit more dominant of the two. She kind of rules the roost in here. Um, Nero is your classic sloth. 
He is laid back, he's easygoing, and he just does whatever Lunesta wants to do. And seeing them together in this setting is not something you typically see out in their natural range. Sloths are typically solitary, so usually the only time you'll see two sloths together is when you see a mother and a baby. But Nero and Lunesta get along really, really well, so we are able to keep them together here at the zoo. You can see they do really enjoy being near each other, kind of cuddling up together in their favorite corner of their exhibit. This corner has lots of perching and lots of branches that support their bodies, kind of like a big basket. So they really don't have to use much energy at all to hang on, oh, sorry, Lunesta, <laughs> to hang on and kind of curl up here. We'll see, baby's head is actually right over here. I don't know if we can see. Maybe not. Snoozing away in the corner of Lunesta's arm. So even when we're in the exhibit, they are not always the easiest to spy. And have we gotten any slot questions in that I could answer? Yes, we had someone ask why they move so slow. Ooh, that's a good question. And that's a really common question we get at the zoo. So sloths do move pretty slowly. Um, they're just conserving as much energy as possible. However, if they feel threatened, they can move surprisingly quickly through the branches. So they can move a little bit faster. They're also exceptionally good swimmers. So if they do feel threatened and there's some water nearby, sloths can drop right out of the trees into a river below and swim away to safety. But they do move slowly. Their metabolism is very slow. Since they're primarily eating lots of leaves and leafy greens, it takes them a really long time to digest their food and to get the nutrients they need out of it. So their digestion's slow, they're eating kind of low energy foods, so everything about them is a little low energy. And we had another one about um, if they are dangerous to humans. Oh, that's a good question. So sloths, you will see I'm feeding them with these long metal tongs. So sloths do have very sharp teeth and they also have very long paws. They do not have the best eyesight and my fingers look a lot like sweet potato or apple slices. So I use these tongs just to keep my fingers safe. Now, although they might not be dangerous to humans, um, you know, they wouldn't leap out of a tree and attack people, they are not domestic species. So they do not like cuddling people. They don't like living in people's homes. These are wild animals um, with very different behaviors from you know, a cat or a dog. So I always like to stress that even though they do look very cute and cuddly, they do not want to cuddle with us. MP was wondering if they like asparagus. <laughs> they, I don't think we have ever had asparagus. That is something they would probably not have a lot of access to in the rainforest. Um, they do really, really like their greens here at the zoo. So this is Forsythia browse that we can actually pick for them right at the zoo. So no asparagus for them. Does the baby have a name? Oh, good question. So we actually have some very exciting news here at the zoo. So our baby does not have a name. And starting today through September 19th, we are actually going to be hosting an auction to um, offer everyone the opportunity to suggest and bid on a name for our little baby. All proceeds from this auction are going to benefit our All for Animals Fund, which goes directly to the care of all of our animals here at the zoo including our sloth family of Nero, Lunesta, and Little Baby. All right, well, I believe we're just about out of time. Thank you all so much for joining us this morning. Uh, we hope you check back for our next Zoo to You. And if you do visit the Stone
Welcome Zoo soon. Stop by the sloth exhibit and see if you can get a peek at our little sloth family.